a plus b into bracket square a plus b into square uh, into bracket square a plus b into square into bracket square kare to ye 2ab kahan se aaya 2ab kahan se aaya ye 2ab kahan se aaya Looks like there's a lot of confusion with the a plus b whole square formula. Let's sort this out today. Before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and also press the bell icon. Let's get into the topic. First, let's understand few basics. What comes into your mind when you hear a square or phi square? Phi square means 5 to 5. That means 25, right? But actually, a square or phi square should be seen like this. It's the same phi squares and the area is multiplied by length and breadth. And for square, all four sides are same. So we can take any two sides. Hence, the area of phi square is 5 to 5. That's 25. Now we know how area of square is calculated. Next, let's see how square can be used in real life. Assume that you're a farmer and have a big land. Now that you want to make an estimate of the yield from a portion of your land. How do we do it? It's hard to make an estimate, right? Because there's no scale of measurement. However, if you have divided the land into fixed numbers of square, then the yield from a square can be used to multiply and measure the total yield from n number of squares. That's cool, now that we know we can use a square to make relative measurement by multiplying the outside of a square. Can we do that within a square? Let's see that too. Come on guys, let's have a closer look. Let's see the formula again. a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now let's substitute a equal to 3 and b equal to 7. That is 3 plus 7 whole square equal to 3 square plus 2 into 3 into 7 plus 7 square. Further, the equation solves with 100 on both sides. Still, this is not satisfying, right? Let's do it in practical. Look at this. I have created a simple 10 by 10 square. We already know area square can be calculated by multiplying any two sides. Hence, area of this square is a into a that is 10 into 10 equals 100. Next, let's make the same square as a plus b whole square. Remember the problem we solved earlier. We substitute a equal to 3 and b equal to 7. Hence, I have given 3 centimeters for a and 7 centimeters for b on all sides like this. Look at the square, it's still same 10 by 10 square. We have AA on both sides, that is A square, AB, and then B square, and then AB. Next, I'm going to cut this into pieces and show the actual measurement. That is A equal to 3 and B equal to 7. And see how this frames the A plus B whole square equation. It's still the same 10 by 10 square. Please have a closer look. Now a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Since we substitute a equal to 3 and b equal to 7, 3 square will equal to 9, 2ab will equal to 42 and 7 square will equal to 49. 9 plus 42 plus 49 equals to 100, the 10 by 10 square. Wow, how's that? I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. And also press the bell icon. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!